Hello friends, welcome back for part 14 of Oxygen Not Included Spaced Out DLC's full walkthrough. And let's just keep going with where we left off last time. We were just getting our research up. Now we're going to start exploring getting out into this biome so that we can set up our solar panels and get a second energy source before we start switching on to different form of oxygen and then we will finally leave this accursed planet and head over to a different one. No, this isn't accursed at all, this is actually going pretty well. Alright, let's start getting out here. Uh, the one thing that you want to make sure you have by this point is that you have your research for uh, your suits. So that's going to be down here. Make sure you got that because we're going to use the suits to start exploring out into this area because this is where I'm going to start letting uh, kind of be a vacuum. I'm going to not be super interested in settling out here. I'm going to try to get all the material out here and kind of drop it down into my ice biomes to keep them nice and cool. Uh, yeah, and then we'll build some solar panels. I don't know how far we're going to get in this video, but the first thing we need to do is actually get out there. So let's start that. So I'm just going to set up an area for another liquid lock, just something like this. And then we need to start setting up some suits so that we can get our duplicates out there and working efficiently. Stations. We're just going to do an Atmo suit checkpoint here and some Atmo suit docks. Just going to do it like that. Uh, we do have a lot of need for refined metals by this point in the game because uh, we are going to need to make suits and that's going to require quite a bit. So um, if you don't have enough, which I actually don't, I'm waiting for these, these to come off of their dormancy um, and start producing enough so I can start producing more refined metals. Um, so what we're going to do in the meantime is I'm just going to have my duplicates working out here without suits for a little while just because there's not really that much left to do. Um, so I'll just have them kind of building out here in the meantime. We'll create our liquid lock and we will um, set some stuff up to make sure that our debris is not actually going to fall in here. So actually I need to do this. Let me set some ladders to go up like that. And then a fire pole so that they can get up and down more quickly. They're just going to work out here without oxygen for just a little bit until we get enough refined metals to be able to create some suits. Um, the suits will also take a little while to fill up too, but uh, we can at least start filling up the stations so that when the suits get there, they'll be ready to roll. Do remember that I'm doing this a little bit differently. So liquid lock, just going to put up some uh, automation on, on here like this with the liquid vent. Going to connect this up to some water, which I'm going to want to route probably from here. Just kind of run it over and then up. There we go. Duplicants are going to be upset having to go through here and getting wet every single time, but, you know, too bad for them. I can't afford suits right now because we're moving too fast. So deal with it. All right, we'll drop our exosuit forge. Just kind of throw it somewhere that you have space. Um, guess it doesn't really matter exactly where. This seems fine. Cool. And then we're going to get this all connected up to some power. But because we're going to be running solar panels outside, we're going to want to connect this all up to heavy watt wire. So I'm just going to uh, put some bridges in here for the time being and then run some heavy watt wire up here. There we go. Just connect all my stations like that. Then the heavy watt wire can just kind of go through this uh, liquid lock and then be uh, sticking out on the other side so we can eventually get our solar panels connected. So this is not going to be terribly interesting having me mine all this stuff out, but I'm at least going to get this part started with our Atmo suit dock. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a place somewhere in my base where oxygen is pretty available. Maybe right here seems fine. Let's see what's in this, by the way. Um, sure, we can grab these pufflet eggs. They'll just get sorted straight into the drowning tank, which will give us a little bit of extra meat, so I'm okay with that. All right, let's set up a small area that's going to be for collecting oxygen. So I'm going to want to set up something like this, and I'm just going to get a couple of gas pumps and place them just like that. These are going to be connected up to uh, each other into one line, and then on this line, I need to check to make sure this is actually oxygen that's in here. If it's not, then I want to get rid of it. So I'm going to put a gas shut off here that's shortly afterward. Whoa, I don't want to waste my steel on that. Cancel. Let's use this gold. Ah, let me misclick a little bit more. <laughs> I swear I didn't mean to do that. Okay. And then a gas pipe element sensor. 
And I want this to detect if it's not oxygen, I want to send it somewhere else. Um, I do not want to have it go into this tank because this tank that I'm going to be connecting this up to eventually is just going to be only for oxygen so that we can fill up our suit stations. So let's get that going. For the excess or for the stuff that is not oxygen, I want to probably move it somewhere else so that it's not going right where all of my oxygen is being generated because the pressure is probably going to be a little bit high here. So let's send it down a little bit, kind of move it out of the way. Also, if it's like carbon dioxide or something, it's good to put it down here because then it'll drift down to the bottom and get consumed by our ventilation system. All right, so if it's not oxygen, it's going to get sent through the gas shutoff. If it is oxygen, it's going to bypass the gas shutoff and just go straight into this tank. And then this tank is what we can just route up to go into the suits. So I'll just kind of do that really quick. There we go. Just kind of do it in the middle to get a little bit better distribution. There. Then the last thing we'll want to do is to connect these pipes, or sorry, connect these pumps up to some automation. Because I only want these to be on if we actually need oxygen. We don't need to have them running all the time. So I'll connect it up like this. Once the gas reservoir finishes, I'm just going to set the limits that I want this to be on. So I usually will just put this on 80-20. Pretty straightforward. There we go. And then we want to set this to oxygen to say that if we detect something that's not oxygen here, I want this gas shut off to steal it, send it down the pipe, and uh, just kind of blow it back out into our base. So there you go. Pretty straightforward setup for this. The last thing I'll hook up is the power. I want to make sure that I have all of the lines connected up first. So I'll get the power connected. Looks like we're going to have the same problem here like we've had before. Just need to create an airflow tile just to get the gas out of the way that's blocking this from sitting correctly. It's because there's hydrogen here. If there wasn't, it wouldn't be nearly as much of a problem, but yeah. You'll kind of get some hydrogen that drifts up here if you're mining out as aggressively as I am. So yeah, uh, all I'm going to be doing from this point is waiting for these to come off of dormancy. Uh, waiting for the opportunity to create some more refined metals uh, with the liquid that I have. I could use some of this, but I kind of want to save it for oxygen production, so I'd really rather not. If I'd... I'm also not really in a rush. Like, there's no big thing that I really need to rush this out. We're moving pretty fast, all things considered, so I don't know. Not that worried. We just barely got our solar panel research, but we do need the glass forge, glass forge research also. So I'm going to get that. So yeah, we're just going to be in a little bit of a waiting game until we get the rest of this stuff ready to go. Once we're ready for a glass forge, we'll probably create it somewhere over here so that we can cool it down with our uh, cooling setup. So we're not like having 600 degree glass sitting on the ground. So yeah, we'll get there. Uh, let me just take a short editing break here. We'll come back once we start kind of breaching this area, and especially when we want to start putting the material into our ice biomes. So yeah, give me just a bit for that. Okay, we made a little bit of progress digging all this stuff out. Our suit docks are now full, but I'm still waiting for these to turn on before I have enough coolant to create the suits. So duplicates are just out here working, not really able to breathe very well, so it's going to be kind of slow progress, but oh well. Anyway, in the meantime, I did get my glass forge done, so let's build that really quick. Just going to create a spot to put it. Um, not going to be too exact with it, like I talk about a lot. Um, this stuff is all going to get redone in a better way. For right now, I'm just going to do it the cheap way. Uh, in the quick way, so that we can just get something going. Just gonna hook this up to some heavy watt wire since it's already right here. And then the glass is probably going to need to come down and get cooled somewhere. So we already have this pool of water here that's pretty cold that we could use to cool this off. But the piping is not great for us to do this right now. So let me kind of redo some of this. Uh, let's see, what do we want this to drop off? Maybe here. So I could probably just cut it off like that. There we go. And if we deconstruct that, we can just kind of re-hook those things back up. I'm going to deconstruct this tile so my duplicates can actually get in there and work. And then what I'm going to need to do is make sure that we uh, keep it under the water for long enough. I am researching the extra things that we will need to check to make sure that the thing that we're shipping out is at a certain temperature. But until we have that, I'm not going to be overly picky about what we get here. So I'm just going to uh, redo this to kind of snake through the water enough so that... We hopefully should be able to cool it down quite a bit, and it cools down in water pretty quickly. If it were plastic or something, it would take a little bit longer, but I don't know. It's not really worth worrying about that much, I don't think. So we 
just do something like this. Let's wait for the game to load. There we go. Pretty straightforward. We'll just kind of loop the uh, glass all the way through this. And uh, we need a place to pour it out, though. So there's going to be a liquid vent just kind of right there. It's fine. I'm going to build this with some uh, insulated igneous rock uh, pipe. Ideally, it would be ceramic, but we haven't really started that yet. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later, but we're not in desperate need of it right now. So I'm just going to use the regular igneous rock uh, insulated pipes for right now. So once we get that going, we'll get our glass forge up. Uh, as soon as we get st enough stuff for suits, this will go a lot quicker. But all I'm going to be doing is kind of mining out this little area right here, all the way up to the top, so that my solar panels are going to actually have a view of the sky, so we can generate some extra energy. So, yeah, just going to keep plugging along, keep waiting. I'll wait for all this stuff to get set up before I start the glass, um, so there's actually an outlet for it. Uh, yeah, so when that happens, I guess we'll come back and we'll start a couple batches here. Hopefully it'll be near when we can start creating suits. So, yeah, we'll get there. Okay, let's start some glass. So, uh, we don't need to start a ton right away. I know I always misuse that, but... Um, yeah, I guess I don't really know how much I'm really going to need. Because we already have some from deconstructing some windows here and there. So, I just need enough to create enough panels to kind of cover this area. So we'll see how much it's going to take. Also, now that I'm thinking about this, um, I'm going to open up my liquid lock for the time being just to put some oxygen in here and help my duplicates work a little bit faster. I normally would not do this. This is also a big waste of hydrogen, but oh well. We'll get it back and we'll have plenty of other energy sources, so I'm not going to lose too much sleep over it. So yeah, just going to let some uh, hydrogen and oxygen drift up there. So hopefully they'll be able to work a little bit faster while I wait for the other things. But let's take a look at our glass that got produced. So there is some on the uh, rail here. Whoa, it's like stuck. Uh, and the stuff that's on the rail looks like it is... Oh, it's, I can't really tell. Yeah, it's still pretty hot, 131C. But it should hopefully get kind of low by the time it gets there. Let's see how it's doing. 76. Uh, that's not terrible. Yeah, 62. Okay. I'm okay with this. It'll also help melt our ice a little bit faster, too, so... It's kind of an interesting side effect. But yeah, now we have glass running. Um, this area is probably going to get kind of hot, but like I mentioned, um, this is just temporary, just to help us get over the hurdle of energy right now. Um, and then eventually we will have a much better way of uh, getting all this stuff set up and kind of like generating some extra energy off of this and our... Uh, metal refineries eventually so yeah still waiting on those suits but for the time being I'll have my duplicates continue to dig this out okay finally got some coolant which means we got some copper which means we're able to start quite a few suits so should we start making some good progress here and if that's the case I can just re-enable this checkpoint here and I can re-wall the liquid lock so that we're not letting gas just escape out into here and wasting it um, we're not quite wasting it because I haven't like removed any of the ceilings or anything off of this yet But once we do it will just kind of dissipate, but we're totally fine on Oxygen right now and hydrogen will come in very large quantities later. So I'm not super worried about the Minimal amount just to speed us up a little bit right now so the idea once you get out here with your suits is um you're going to create a lot of debris, and I wanted to talk about what to do with that debris, because we've been talking a lot about keeping these ice biomes uh, fresh, since there's not any active cooling going on in here. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is, on top of all these doors that we had, I'm just going to place some automatic dispensers. And I'm going to place them on top of each one of these, and uh, this one we'll get to, but yeah, let's just act as if we had gotten to all of them. Once we have the automatic dispensers, all I'm going to do is make sure to mark them for sweep and for everything. And make sure that nothing else is asking for the same things. I think the only ones that I have are right here, and they're not asking for anything. So that when my duplicates are told to sweep something, they will just take it to those uh, doors, and they'll kind of just drop it on there effectively, because they're going to load it in there, and the dispensers will just drop it right on top of the doors. As soon as we sweep out an area, I'll just open and close the doors, and that'll replenish all of the cooling that we're going to need in here. 
I know I've talked a lot about setting up shipping and doing it via shipping, but I'd rather have this uh, material cleared out a little bit faster. So I'm just going to have duplicates do it. It's not going to take them too, too long to do. I just don't want to have duplicates manually move all the stuff like in my whole base. But if they're just moving the stuff up here and if it's right next to where they're standing anyway, and if I have them kind of specced into these skills a little bit better, uh, the improved carrying or the strength and plumbing, those will help them carry more at a time. It'll speed this up a lot, but really not a big cost to pay. All right, I'm just going to get this channel all mined out entirely, and then uh, we'll be able to put up our solar panels and call this video good. So we'll get there. Okay, we've pretty much got this whole channel mined out. Also got some stuff put on top of these doors, so I'm just going to open them up, drop the stuff in there, close it. If there's anything in there that I want to ship out, I will grab it, which I haven't set up any shipping here yet. I probably should. But same thing over here. Uh, if there's any copper or anything like that that's going to fall in, it's automatically going to get shipped out and into the same cooling system and eventually into my base like we had talked about before. So yeah, just a good way to kind of replenish your supplies in there and to get access to this copper. I'll deal with that in just a little bit. But let's set up our solar panels, which is what this is all building up to. So just going to drop a few solar panels like this. Um, you can kind of stagger them a little bit. There is a way to get more efficiency out of it. But I'm, if you want to look that up, you can. I'm not too worried about make, getting it like as efficient as possible. Might as well just throw them up here and put them in there the way that uh, it was probably intended to be instead of using the sneaky method of getting more. So yeah, that's pretty much it. There's not too much more to know about these solar panels. That's effectively the build. They will turn on once the daytime starts. Uh, your energy will start to get built up. The other thing that I wanted to talk about really fast is in your research, there is a research option to research some batteries um, right here. Um, I'm going to create a very quick power setup because... The only batteries that we have in our whole base right now are these three smart batteries. And if we have a whole sky covered with uh, solar panels, it's a waste because they're producing so much more than we can actually hold. So what I'm going to do really fast is set up a quick battery uh, array. So just going to put down a, where is it, rocket platform. Just going to put it right here. And this rocket platform is just going to be filled up with batteries. And the reason I'm going to do it this way... Whoops, I don't want to do it there. Cancel that. Uh, the reason I'm going to do it here is because if you just use the batteries that are intended to go on space modules, but you actually put it inside your base, you're going to get way more performance out of those batteries in terms of like being able to hold a lot, and they don't produce any heat. So I would wait to spam a bunch of batteries until you have this option, because this option is really good. Uh, so let's see how many we can actually fit here once uh, Nikola is about done building it. Shouldn't take too much longer. And then we can hook that up to our main power grid. So we should have some lines that we can kind of extend down here and hook into there. Get rid of this. Move all this stuff out of the way. That should already be out of the way, so I'm just going to run it up this ladder. It's eventually going to need to cross over, so we'll figure out where that needs to happen. Then on here, all you have to do is just select a new rocket and just put nothing but batteries there. Um, it's a little bit of an exploit, but this is by far the best way to store your power in this uh, in Spaced Out. So that's exactly how I would do it. And then just kind of connect up your wires here really quickly. Like so. Let's get our heavy watt wire ran all the way down there. And then those solar panels that are up there will help contribute. It only needs to be hooked into one. So as long as you hook it into one of them, you will start charging these batteries from your solar panels and from your other power sources. But yeah, free power and very cheap power storage in something like this. Putting it kind of out of the way, by the way. But yeah, that's pretty much all of it. Uh, hopefully this will stabilize our power a little bit more. You can keep mining out more of this if you want to get more solar power. There's no real harm in doing that right now. I'm going to skip past that and not worry about that too much because I'm trying to accelerate us to getting onto the other asteroid and we're pretty close. So next time we're going to be uh, making oxygen from our water using some electrolyzers before we start sending duplicates over to the other place so that we don't need to worry about this one nearly as much. This will be very self-sufficient by then. Okay, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. We'll be back with the next part here pretty soon. Take care.